today i'm going to discuss uh, that how to make a plan uh, to lift a steel i beam with a crane so first consider a beam having a weight 100 lbs per feet the given data is that uh, length is 13 30 feet and height a uh, height is 24 inch and width is 7.254 inch uh, it is a uh, it is a plan to lift a steel beam with a crane it is a crane lifting or it is related to a rigging field okay uh, so what are the key points that we have to find uh, before a rigging plan uh, to do a practical before to do a practical the uh, points are there are 10 points first uh, uh, now let's start up from first point first we have to first we have to select a sling type uh, what sling time we should use for uh, to lift an i-beam okay let's start from a sling type Uh, the sling type we use uh, for i beam uh, we cannot uh, first we consider a chain uh, we cannot uh, use a chain and also we can't use a belt for a steel beam because it's hard so we should choose a hard sling type for it uh, the durable and adaptable sling type is a steel wire rope is a steel wire rope sling type we will use for it uh, and the second uh, second step is to find the weight of the i-beam so what is the weight of the i-beam uh, as it is given as 100 L, uh, LBs, 100 pounds per feet. Uh, so there is a total length of the beam is 30 feet. We will multiply 100 with 30 and got a result 3000 pound. 3000 pounds is equal to uh, 1.5 ton. So the total weight of the uh, beam is 1.5 ton okay we will right here the next step is the center of gravity so center of gravity it is a plane object uh, the weight at both ends is same so the center of gravity lie at the center of the beam because the weight uh, weight division is same at both sides of the beam so its center of gravity lie at the center the next step is the hitch type hitch hitch means the knot uh, we will use a sling knot uh, at ends so which which type of hitch we will use for an i-beam uh, as you know uh, there are m many types as basket as uh, vertically so here we will use a two leg choker i will explain uh, what is the mean of choker uh, the, uh, it is explained here as uh, a sling move from here and we will take and we will use this knot this type of uh, this type of uh, knot is called choker okay uh, so if uh, uh, so by uh, this knot the working load limit of uh, hitch of sling uh, is decreased as 75 percent uh, if uh, it if it has a working load limit of one ton uh, and if and we uh, we are going to use uh, a choker type so its limit is 
डिक्रीज टू सेवन जीरो पॉइंट सेवन टी फाइव इन टू वर्किंग लोड लिमिट सो इट इज़ डिक्रीज इट इज़ लेस दैन एज इट इज़ यूज एज अ वर्टिकल स्ट्रेट स्लिंग टाइप ओके सो फोर एंड फिफ्थ नाउ फिफ्थ इज द स्लिंग वर्किंग लोड स्लिंग वर्किंग लोड लिमिट विच टाइप ऑफ स्लिंग और विच वर्किंग लोड लिमिट ऑफ स्लिंग वी आर गोइंग टू यूज सो फॉर डेट पर्पज वी नीड एन एंगल वी नीड वी नीड टू फाइंड एन एंगल वट इज द एंगल एट दिस पॉइंट ओके वी आर गोइंग टू वी आर गोइंग टू यूज एज अ सिक्सटी डिग्री इफ सिक्सटी डिग्री वी विल फाइंड इट टू लेग्स टू लेग स्लिंग वी आर यूजिंग फॉर एन आई बीम सो द स्लिंग वर्किंग लोड वी विल फाइंड इन केस लेंथ ऑफ स्लिंग डिवाइडेड बाय हाइट डिवाइडेड बाय हाइट एंड दिस रेशो विल कम फॉर सिक्सटी डिग्री इज वन पॉइंट वन फाइव एंड इफ यू आर यूजिंग एट फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री एंगल then it is 1.41 this and for 30 degree it is 2 it is a ratio so the sling load is equal to this if we consider it a letter a then it is sling load is equal to a multiply weight of beam or any object divided by 2 so here if we use 60 degree angle so it is 1.15 into weight weight is 3000 lb 3000 pound divided by 2 so for this it is 1725 lb 1725 pound so the load working load limit of each sling is 1725 for an i beam having weight 3000 pound if we use uh, uh, if we use two slings then each sling has then each sling has each sling has half of the weight of load but if we use four slings then three slings have the uh, then three slings have the uh, weight of uh, load but in this case we are using two slings so we will consider two slings the next step is six uh, attach to hook how we attach a slings to the uh, to the hook of the crane so we will use so we will use a one shackle and connect, uh, and connect the slings through a shackle to the hook of the crane so uh, here we have to select what is the uh, working what is the load limit of this shackle so we uh, we have to find it what is the working load limit of shackle as the total load is 3000 lbs so 3000 lbs and the shackles we will use at that point so it is increased from 3000 lbs as a we consider it as a hardware we consider it as a hardware weight okay so the total uh, we 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 will consider it 4000 its working limit we will consider as 4000 lb 4000 pounds shackle load limit is 4000 pounds and the next is seven attach load okay eight is the soften edges soften edges it is an beam so we will soft its edges by using pads 
so pads so we will use pads for it to soften its edges our ninth option is to use a tagline so we will use a tagline at the end okay we will use a tagline at the end of the beam and the last step is the final weight check what is the final weight under the hook so it is the uh, so it is the weight of the shackle weight of slings weight of the shackle used here weight of the weight of the beam so it is increased from 3000 lbs we will consider it 10 step and it is 3000 lb as the weight of beam plus it is the weight of sling plus hardware we are using so the um, so far more information i will uh, i will tell you some uh, i will tell you some other aspects as we will uh, we will use a shackle another shackle here how do we connect this link to this load it is here uh, we will uh, we are going we are using a choker uh, hitch type so it is round and we will use a shackle that is here so we ha uh, we also have to select what is the working load limit of this shackle uh, so beam uh, so it depends upon this 725 1725 lbs so we will select is as one ton because one ton is equal to 2000 lb so we will consider it one ton its working load limit uh, for uh, more we uh, will use a choker so its working load limit of the sling is decreased at 0 0.75 as it is the angle of choke angle of if angle of choke is decreases so it will decrease more so here is a plan for a beam how to lift a beam with i beam so our total load is about uh, f if we consider it 4000 lb it is 2 ton uh, so we need a uh, we need a 20 ton crane for it for it if we uh, 20 ton crane if we are uh, if the boom length is uh, about 12 meter and 4000 lb is the load total weight so we need a 20 tonic crane for it.